Over the past few weeks, I had the realization that being weird and different is how you get people's attention. The two companies most guilty currently are Game Freak and Epic Games. Both opted to make some day-long live streams that were the equivalent of watching paint dry. But at least we got some good content out of it. Do you see the second void? Look at the void! Now despite this, I still think Epic Games did it a million times better. Epic never really told us to watch that stream. It was more just going on in the background while we silently waited for the sequel to Fortnite to come out. It would have been better if the game didn't leak on the App Store ahead of time, but hey, the effort was there. Unlike Epic, Game Freak decided to tell us to watch this stream, and out of 24 hours, there was only about 7 minutes of activity which revealed one new Pokemon. Now here's why I didn't like this. They spent 24 hours to reveal one new Pokemon, which isn't even a new Pokemon. Why do they need to waste time like that? They could have just revealed the Pokemon like any other and gotten the same effect. It is because of this that after comparing these two marketing stunts, I have decided to give Game Freak a Ponyta out of 10 and Epic Games a Fortnite Chapter 2 out of 10.